Hello and happy Super Pie Day. This is Delcy, and I have been doing origami for many years. And since today was Super Pie Day, I went online looking for a pie model. And I didn't find anything that was quite to my satisfaction, but I actually found two um, models. And I will, if I, if I post this online, I will credit the models that I hybridized to come up with this one. So I like this one because it's a 3D model. It stands up on its own. It's very simple to make and it kind of holds together as well. So you can kind of see the accordion sides. Okay, so I'll bet that you want to know how to make this, so I will show you. The first thing you're gonna do is start off with a square of origami paper. Um, it doesn't really matter um, what size origami paper because it's a very simple model. And really all you need is a half of a sheet of origami paper. So the first thing we're gonna do is divide it in half. You can actually get two pi out of one sheet of square paper. Okay. And so I will just tear very gently. Eh, it's okay if the edges come out a little ragged because you're gonna hide them. Okay, so put the other square aside. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually fold this in half. So it's all based on eighths, so it's pretty easy to get the proportions right. So hopefully you can all still see this. I have a camera rigged to my neck so that I have my hands free. So now what I'm doing is basically folding the long edges. There you go. All right, and then I'm gonna do, basically we wanna get eighths. So to get my eighths, I have to do them this way. Just keep folding things. There we go, okay? And then we fold another one. Okay, so this is how you're hiding the edges. All right, so now the thing to do, oh, okay. one more accordion here. All right, so now and we've got kind of those basic folds. Now we're gonna make the accordion as you can see, the top of this is an accordion. So just fold them the way. I'll have to reverse just a couple of them. Okay, so you have your accordion. And now what we're gonna do we have to get a proportion of five on top of it. So we're just gonna make a little fold here. This is just a guideline. And then essentially what you need to do is fold it and fold the rest of it that doesn't include this little bit into thirds. So the way I do that is I do kind of a zigzag. I try to line that edge there and this edge here. And you kind of, kind of wiggle them a little. So, so yeah, so let's uh, finalize those, make sure they're lined up nice. And this is the extra. needs to go the other way. All right, so those are our, that's our top of the pie, if you can see that. And now what we want to do is get our accordion back. So, doo -doo -doo. 
There we go. Okay. So now, given that we have those folds in place, now you kind of begin some artistic judgment here. So you wanna, these are gonna be kind of pre-creases and then we'll actually do the accordion folding. So the proportion, it's roughly, if you think of these as, you know, little, uh, little squares, little mini squares, you wanna fold it so that, got about the same length there. Kind of like that. And we're gonna go a little more. Like that. And then, oops, can you see? And then, uh, kind of like that. Right, so basically the things sticking out are squares. Okay, and then to make that permanent, go in. See so how you've got kind of these ghost folds. So now you make them part of the accordion. And squeeze one layer at a time. And you're gonna collapse it. So you see it's starting to take shape. And then you kind of want to pinch a little bit. And what I'm trying not to do is to crease this top piece. And you don't want to have fold marks. So it looks a little tighter. Okay. So there's that part. It's the front leg, if you will. And then we'll have it kick out. This is how you get it to kick out. It's going to fold along the pre creases you made. Now, to reverse some of them, but don't worry, if you just work from one end to the other, it's pretty easy. There we go. your front leg kicking out, right? See that? Okay, so now the last piece, remember your other crease here. And what I like is to have this kind of back and kicking out just a little bit, almost makes like a number seven shape. So you get kind of the, the openness of the legs here. Oops. Okay, so, so kind of like we did before, we do a pre-shaping, get kind of our Number seven here. See, so like that. It's almost kind of like you're making a line, imaginary line, like right there. So you pre crease it. And just like we did before, so tuck it in. It's almost like the top of your top of the bar. And now. And work your way from the outside to the inside, just like we did. And then you're going to make those folds permanent. So I don't have a lot of control over my camera angle here. But I think you'll get the idea. Okay. Satisfied with this. Well, that's pretty much it. And there is your origami pie in honor of Super Pie Day. 3, 14, 15. Bye.